Why does your village never flood? But the city floods. Have you ever noticed it? Simple question, but very deep answer. The truth is, the moment you develop land, you change nature's original design. When we build roads, houses, estates, we are replacing soil with cement. We've taken away nature's ability to absorb water. And now, water has nowhere to go. This is what engineers call impervious surfaces. When you block the ground, you block absorption. And what happens? The water turns back. That is why storm water drains matter. You know now, gutter. That is why environmental impact assessments exist. Because a smart developer, landlord or investor must calculate what happens to water before the first block is laid. And no, previous paving doesn't fix everything. Because too much absorption in the wrong soil can mess up your foundation. So protect your compound, but you must redirect the water properly. Now here's the painful part. Even when the water leaves your compound, your street or your estate, if the government has not provided proper drainage systems, the water returns and floods. So yes, the government has a big role. They collect our development levy. They must pay their part now. I concur. But as a smart developer, landlord or investor, we must have a duty to build with sense. Because every time you put a block on land, you've changed the natural order. And if you do not plan for water, it will show you pepper. Three. We build cities, yes. But nature still runs the rules. I've been Fola Jomi. See you on the next one.